Hello everyone, this is Alvor of Alvor's Forge. I'm here with my first gameplay video and uh, today I thought I'd bring you some Fallout 4. Since uh, Fallout 76 still hasn't come out yet, I had a few ideas for it and since I can't do them in the beta just yet, uh, I thought I'd do them in here and uh, see what you guys think. So, what we've got is a couple of builds that you can build either, well hopefully if the tool set is the same in Fallout 76, you'll be able to build it both in Fallout 4 and Fallout 76. So it's a couple of fairly fit familiar builds to people who have played a lot of Bethesda games. So first up we have got the Megaton House. Now, unfortunately, in both builds, I am having a problem where the settlers just keep coming in. No matter how much I lock the doors, they just keep coming in. Can't really do much about that except for glitch them out. Uh, so, yeah. And then they just get stuck in the floor. So, unfortunately, not a lot I can do about that. But, yeah, I thought I'd just show you guys a couple of builds that you guys might want to do. So let's just uh, close the door, make sure nobody else comes in. So players of Fallout 3 will hopefully be pretty familiar with this. Um, so yeah, uh, I thought I'd recreate it. It's had a few tweaks, such as uh, this place now has a, a little lockable bathroom that you can go into. Uh, so yeah, I've made my own little, little Wadsworth guy. Um, I'm not. I can't remember which uh, which theme this was, but it's it's one of the more common ones anyway. So up here, there's we've got Wadsworth stuck behind the door there. No, go away, Wadsworth. Uh, and uh, I've put a, a power armor in here too, because obviously every now and then there's some uh, radioactive storms, so that you can just hop in that. Steal any of that. That's totally mine. Everything there, totally mine. Moving on. Here's the bedroom if Wadsworth will actually let. Some cheeky bastard is in my room. Lady, just get the hell out of my room. Right, anyway. So. Uh, yeah, you got all the, the familiar stuff in here. Got a got a lot of windows, which I don't think you had in the original one. Um, obviously, I wanted to try and put this in a place as uh, most Megaton as I could, but I can't really find any uh, settlement places with a big crater, so I settled for this, because you can build it on this hill here, so you get this nice view from above. Um, you could also build the rest of Megaton here, I guess, but for now I just built the, the main player's house. So there is this build. Uh, all your normal storage that you had in the original game. Uh, everything's where it should be. Obviously, as I said, with a, a few extra tweaks that I thought might be useful. And uh, yeah. Since the settlers seem to have taken this over, I'll, I'll, I'll just get out of it, you know. I, I, I built this from scratch, from the ground up, but you know, it's okay. Now it seems to belong to other people. Alright. So, uh, moving on to the next house. We have one that should be fairly familiar from Skyrim. <coughs> it's the custom house. Uh, I chose to build mine in Skyrim uh, near Falkreath, just next to that nice beautiful lake. So in Fallout I chose to build mine next to this river. Uh, unfortunately you can't get rid of this. Uh, this Nordhagen beach is pretty open and you can build whatever you want here, but you just can't get rid of this thing, which is a shame, but I tweaked it and made the most of it. So, going in. It should all look pretty familiar from Skyrim. Obviously, like depending how you built the place. Um, in Skyrim yeah, sorry about the settlers, I can't get rid of them. But, yeah, in Skyrim I chose to build an armory in here. So I've done the same with all the mannequins and obviously updated for Fallout with a few extra slots for uh, power armor and stuff. Uh, 
and then going through to the back here. Uh, this was my trophy room. Uh, I've <laughs> tried to make it as trophy room as possible in here, but there's only so much you can do. Pretty much all of them just sit on a wall. Uh, yeah. And then a few tweaks I've made. I decided out the back here they should have a, a nice pier going out. <coughs> So that you can, I don't know, sit and fish or whatever. Uh, come on, Tommy. Where are you? Ah, you can sit outside, whatever. Right. And then in here, uh, I chose to do the garden or the greenhouse or whatever. So, uh, yeah. Do you like my crops? Obviously, that's just some grass clipping in here, but I thought it was pretty appropriate for the greenhouse. And then, moving on to upstairs. Got the standard bedroom. And the other, like, I don't know, the room for your kids or whatever. And uh, a bunch of other stuff that all should look familiar from Skyrim. Obviously, just updated to full out. And then out the back here, we have a, a nice huge patio. Don't know if that's what it's called, but that's what I'm going to call it. Uh, and obviously, because it's full out and not Skyrim, there's a lot of defenses. So the whole roof is covered in laser turrets, and all the settlers are all armed. and Got some giant heavy turrets and yeah, it's pretty well defended. Got a few nice little other areas and stuff that the settlers can, well, that I wanted the settlers to go in, but every, they seem to go everywhere else except that. Can't get rid of some of this junk, but I guess it adds to the scenery. And this little bit here, again, is where all the beds for the settlers are supposed to be. But they never use them because, well, I guess it's logical. Like, who'd want to sleep in here when you've got a whole huge mansion here, right? But I didn't exactly give these guys permission to come in. They just kind of do. But yeah, you should have your familiar alchemy station here. and I couldn't exactly do an enchanting station, so I've just got some workbenches and weapons workbenches. And instead of the stag, yeah, deathclaw. Oh. Uh, unfortunately, I couldn't build a basement. That's the only thing. If this dude get out of my way. I'd love to have been able to build a basement here. Um, so if any of you guys know how to do that it, within Fallout 4, then uh, yeah, tell me in the comments. But that's the uh, couple of houses that I thought you guys might, might like to see built in Fallout 4 or Fallout 76. Um, leave a like and subscribe and uh, leave a comment below if there's anything else you think I could have added or if uh, you'd like me to do any other buildings from any other Bethesda game. Uh, so yeah, thanks guys and see you next time.